Hey y'all, MK here and welcome back to the cookery. Today, I'm kind of excited for what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make like a German pancake. It's also called a Dutch baby apparently, but it actually looks pretty good for being just like this kind of open pancake. And you can put really, I think, any type of fruit, powdered sugar you want in it, which I think is actually really cool. It looks good too, so let's just get right into it and try it out. All right, y'all, so I actually have all my ingredients already here. I obviously have three eggs over here, six ounces of milk, and then I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract, as well as a tablespoon of melted butter. So I also have in the bowl here, I have three fourth cups of flour, all-purpose flour, and then I have one half tablespoons of sugar, and then I just have a pinch of salt also. So I'm just gonna combine everything and then mix it with a um, stand mixer and then let's, let's, let's just see how this goes. All right, you guys, so after I made my mixture, it definitely has the same look as the recipe, so that's a good sign, I hope. But now I think it's actually probably the most difficult part of the recipe, and it's kind of like a like really quick multitask kind of thing. Um, we're supposed to use like an iron skillet over here, so this is like probably kind of like the oh my goodness really part because it's like okay if you have to wash it that's kind of annoying but i'm definitely going to use it i definitely have kind of a big one here but let's hope it just works out well i already kind of buttered the bottom but the actual like part that's kind of difficult here is i have to put this on the stove first and let the butter kind of melt and then i have to put this into my pan here but then like maybe like a minute or late maybe like less than a minute after like a couple minutes I think so then we're supposed to immediately put it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit so we're gonna do that right now and I'll let you guys know and I'll show you guys in the oven how it looks once it's kind of done and let's just see hopefully this process does not take or does not seem as strenuous as it kind of looks all right yeah so actually after 24 minutes in the oven it actually turned out really similar to what the recipe showed in the video there were obviously a lot of bubbles but it actually really deflated and i think i could have actually put it in for a lesser time because the outer like rim is definitely more brown than the video but there were definitely a lot of bubbles but it deflated and overall it actually looks really good so i took a slice here i added some strawberries on top so now i'm just gonna take a bite It's actually tastes pretty nice like it's pretty subtle obviously but like it really has just a nice kind of i don't want to call it a pancake but i want to call it like a pancake and a crepe combined it kind of feels like like the same kind of texture kind of right in between overall i think it's really good actually but like the strawberries definitely give it the nice fruity taste like kind of a sweet and subtle kind of mixture and i think it actually is really good like it's actually pretty nice like pretty subtle kind of like a spongy kind of taste but like the um, bottom of it is pretty crunchy, like has a nice crunch. So overall, I think this actually tastes pretty good and it wasn't that hard to make actually. This hopefully will not be too much to clean. I obviously put butter around it and since it's deflated, it's really easy to kind of like pick it up on the sides. So I bet this won't be that hard to clean either. So overall, this actually was a good experience. All right, y'all, that's it for this week's video. It actually tastes pretty good when I just eat it with like a strawberry. It even tastes like a crepe to me, like a really thick crepe, which is actually what I really enjoy. So this is actually going to be super fun and super good to eat. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below any thoughts, suggestions, etc. Have you tried making this before? Have the, has there been always this amount of bubbles? But don't worry, it always turns out really great anyway, so it actually turned out pretty good for a first timer. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see you guys next week.